my setup is so ghetto that I have no idea if it's happening. Because basically I have uh, like a tablet bec uh, because I don't have a second monitor. I think I last year Oculus Connect I think 6. I watched with uh, Wishful I think. But I'm not sure if his channel is uh, alive. <laughs> Yeah, it seems it's dead. It's weird because he was like kinda blowing up. I guess something happened. Primarily now, if I think today is gonna be like the pre ordering, not an actual release of the headset. I think I saw on Reddit something about 13th of October because uh, the headsets are already going to the retail stores. I don't think it's gonna sell today. The pricing on this new quest is so crazy that for sure. They are producing it with huge like loses, pretty much, because first head quest was sold at a loss, still, but quest two is gonna be sold even more at a loss because XR2 is not a cheap processor to put into the headset like that, and the headset itself, the most cheapest version will be like three hundred dollars, which is nothing. Like nowadays, for this technology, is nothing. Especially for VR. Facebook has to invest some huge money to just like into this whole project. They just are so confident in their, I mean at this point monopoly, because they are pretty much ruling VR space content wise and now hardware wise it's gonna be. Anyone that will step up to Facebook, it's gonna be so hard with all the hand tracking, all the just, just possibilities. Like Facebook is really living the dream, but they are like pretty much trying to realize this ready player one kind of dream that everyone wants. So at the end of the day, I guess we are winning, but we are also are not sure if Facebook is gonna be IOI <laughs> from the film or there will be just like, you know, a positive environment. We'll have to see. Because Facebook apparently has like a history of solving private da data and stuff like that. Pretty much predictions, my predictions. Headset, obviously. <sighs> I have no idea about the software-wise. Uh, maybe like wireless link. That would be also cool. But we have virtual desktop, which works pretty amazingly. New games. I mean, I think we're gonna hear something about the port to the quest with Walking Dead. As well, I think there's gonna be news on the Population 1, the Battle Royale game, because I've seen the like the carton that the headset arrives as a parcel, and there's the Population 1 uh, advertisement on the back. There was Jurassic Park, I remember. Let's see. Hey everyone. Hi, Zach. <laughs> Jesus, he looks so pale. And that inside. Today. He's not, not looking good. <laughs> Let's talk about augmented reality. First? The goal here Okay, interesting. Size, I always thought that right their headsets would be play games hybrid, VR, AR, because and of the password. We're going to we're share more about Project Aria, which is the first research device Aria. that we're we'll putting out into the world Wait, to help what? us understand the best Oh, glasses. so AR glasses are going to be like future, a cooperation between prescription glasses as well. That's why I was uh, confused like how they're going to solve this. Phones. First pair of smart glasses next year. Now, what? Next year? Yet. Cutting edge technology. What the <laughs> is this? <laughs> Let's talk about virtual reality. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a couple of years ago, we started working with some of the best game studios to produce AAA franchises for Quest. And today, for Quest. Uh, we're going to share some of this work. In the future, it's going to support 90 hertz for PC gameplay. And oh, nice. 90 hertz. UI, okay. So find... Zack playing Echo. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the screen's great, but I wonder if we can get 50% more... <laughs> What's this release? This I always lose an Echo it's Quest to release, but okay. Taylor, we could throw in a single high-res LCD panel. Great. LCD panel? Let's make sure we okay. Keep the built but keep the built-in IPD adjustment, of course. Built-in IPD, IPD adjustment? The fuck is this intermission? Let's try to cut 10% off the weight. Yeah. Could we put it on a diet? Quest 2 is yeah, um, you like it, narrower we here. We're talking about an entirely new architecture. Yeah, that's that's why. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> you're you're on mute. What the fuck is happening? If the team can pull this off. What if we lower the price? Yeah, great idea. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> More than 90% of people who used Quest this year hadn't used an Oculus before. That is true. I was also the reality. same person. And First today, time headset Quest. And I'm excited to share with all of you yes. Oculus Quest 
two. Yes, but two, I don't know why it's white though. Around. That's weird. I guess for separation. More er is shipping on October 13th. Yeah, okay. And we are opening pre-orders today. Bitch, where's my phone? And, the site is not loading. <laughs> for adjusting the optics that makes it easier to dial in the visual settings. Oh, that are okay, right so for that's you. how it works. We've redesigned the touch just how much exercise you're getting while playing some of your favorite titles. Oh, it's called built in Oculus fitness Move, tab. Okay. It lets you set time so it's kind of like a mini game overlays and that you play with yourself. That's why I'm pleased to announce some accessories we're launching for Quest oh, 2 oh, oh, oh. a fit pack, an elite strap, oh. and the highly requested battery strap. Whoa! Now, of course, it doesn't even okay. matter how well it deals. Lowering the actual price of the headset instead for the accessories. Sure to Smart. The great That's fine. To the, as I, I wonder said, about the quality because also out our myself, I'm using the VR cover pads both on the face and in the back and they are pretty good so if they're gonna for fit for my quest 2 i don't know if i have, have to commute. buy another one are ar months, effects like cool or am i too old for this i don't know why i don't get it this is project aria these glasses are a precursor to working AR. It doesn't display any information. <laughs> Camera on the left lens. For sale, it, it looks okay for AR glasses, actually. That's crazy. They are the also developing the AR, AR glasses. Outward They're really trying to, to dominate the space. It's going to be very AR interesting future. how Facebook is going to use data from AR. Oh, this is about I mean, VR is another thing, but AR is more invasive that guide our work in the lab it's essentially camera Facebook, on your head principles are not Literally, just a list so. of nice things oh. connecting with friends in vr is more important than ever ah. we want you that's to horizon be able to spend time. they're really smart because they're in, they essentially invite people into beta to build the world for them then on the release date it's gonna be like packed with content so people are gonna kind of like have things to do there very smart uh, marketing ploy I'm still like, I don't know, for me it seems like Rec Room 2.0. Actually, I heard there are actual events as well. You can create your own games and stuff like that. Words as well, that's very cool as well. But I don't know if it's essentially graphically is gonna be very appealing. To the VR folk that is used it, sure. But I mean the just consumers, the average Joes, because it's very cartoony. And today, we are excited to announce our what? first AAA franchises yes. for the VR market, what? which are Assassin's Creed Actually, and yeah. Splinter Cell. Actually, Assassin's Creed in VR is going to come, okay. I thought that, but Splinter Cell as well. Truly Interesting, because we have uh, we Phantom. Thanks for kicking us off with that awesome news. Hi everyone, <laughs> I'm Ruth Graham, and I've been a producer at Oculus for over wow. six years. Smooth. Helping our we wanted to follow up with something like reading from te and teleprompter. This is Quest, uh, I think, for sure. That looks great. Comparing to the Vader Immortal? Population 1, first, I am assuming. This is captured on PC, okay. I mean, I feel like the graphics could be as well working well on Quest. It seems like it. Maybe not drawing distance necessarily, but I'm, I'm seeing like the textures and the UI. Like the the avatars look cool. Maps, I see they were downgraded, but the map is huge. So it's pretty much a Fortnite. <laughs> I really like the size of the map, though. Beat Saber. Wait, those avatars? Is this multiplayer? Yes, finally. Hi. <laughs> really? BTS collaboration. That's actually huge. I really am interested in how multi oh Jesus. how multiplayer is gonna look like. Because there are now avatars. So maybe you're gonna see like players next to you. Time to PC. Oh damn, this graphics. Oh my god. This is National Geographic on steroids. Oh. Nice, okay, I like this. But I'm surprised there's a sequel to be honest because the first one was pretty good. Jurassic Park. Ooh, the art style from like Walking Dead from Tile Tile. I like this art style actually, especially in VR. Because I loved the Lives Beneath one. Matt, dude, this is. <laughs> uh oh. 
No, another horror game but with dinosaurs, that's even worse. They're gonna catch my ass, Jesus. The Warhammer! Did so many good Embodies franchises coming. Women, as they We've been fortunate to partner with well-known Japanese developers and have committed significant Please. and long Persona or Final, Final Fantasy anything for VR. I would so die. Space Channel 5 VR kind of Space Channel 5, okay? From grounding. Titles like Alt Deus, Oh, that looks cool. From this Alt Deus is that, I think and many wait, more. Beyond Kronos? Now you're probably I think I asking know this. what about P And that's why they've embraced Rift as the gold standard for high fidelity. Games. No, Rift is dead. <laughs> don't don't forget that. Now we've got something that Quest 2 plus Link gives you a higher resolution. At a lower yeah, cost, they're selling the PC VR for Quest 2. Medal of Honor, finally! Like this, so, uh, bear with me. so ready for this. Medal of Honor is shipping December nice, 11th December 11th. It's, it's shipping at the same time on Steam. With full Steam That's gonna VR be huge, actually. I didn't know it's gonna come to Steam, really because I thought it's an exclusive. I'm so ready for and Medal of Honor because uh, I'm living in Paris, in so that I could and craft the Medal of Honor is set up in uh, the French kind of realm, realm, times, history. It's gonna be hilarious hearing the dialogues and, and just, in just interacting with stuff. Have I actually believe played. this year has now, much Maria more promising titles the than the last one. Aside from Asgaraf last year and Walking Dead. And I guess Stormland. Last year. Every game that's gonna release, uh, at least now, is gonna be on Quest and Quest 2 as well. So it's just gonna run much smoother on the Quest 2 and like with higher resolution. But ultimately, it's gonna be the same content. I guess the upgrade is worth Infinite it Office if you care about those visuals and stuff like that. You can attach those panels to multiple surfaces, like a table. Oh, a couch, okay. A desk. So they're doing the thing it's that I saw on Reddit, just um, so you can pick assigning the spaces right you in off. your actual space, putting the interfaces on the objects Maria, in real great, life. But, but I, yeah, but I'm not sure that it's gonna be. Freely. Index is gonna be like a high end anymore with Quest 2 because Quest now, 2 is so good and cheap. So at, as if well, at all. because I don't think that you like have to have like a huge storage for the What's PC content, anyways, if you are gonna play mostly full link. And uh, so, like, the, the cheapest one for 300 bucks with inside out tracking and stuff like that versus 1000 one. one. I think that's for there's the no century, even though. discussion, I one think, at this point. <laughs> so, I think we're gonna finish up uh, here pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that was that was fun. Thanks for joining. I mean, I'm glad to be here, and my channel is you know, my my little place on the internet so there's gonna be a lot to do i'm seeing about now the trailers the claim to beat saber multiplayer star wars jurassic park Assassin's Creed. the year is gonna be packed oh as well there there wasn't a trailer for uh, the walking dead onslaught okay see you in the other videos be <laughs> uh where to finish awkward okay it's here so cheers